Hi, um, my name is Bambi Salcedo. I am a very proud trans Latina immigrant woman. I live in Los Angeles. I am the president of the Trans Latina Coalition, which is an organization of trans Latina leaders in, the con in different parts of the country. A sort of like coming out story as a trans person um, began sort of like when I was about 19 years old. I, um, at that time, I identified as gay because that's, that was the only thing that I knew. Um, and I had been, obviously, been sex, sexually active uh, with men for, since I was very little. Um, so I thought I was gay, um, but I started transitioning um, when I was about 19 years old. I, um, I knew, obviously, when I was younger, that there was something about me that it was different, but I just didn't know how to identify that. But it was when I was 19 that I sort of like decided to be myself. And that's when I started um, living full time as the individual that I am. The name Bambi came about when I was younger. I used to play soccer uh, and I was really good at it. Um, I run really fast. So some of the comments that people made at that time was that you know, since I was a boy at that time, they used to say things like, oh, ese cabrón corre como venado, meaning, you know, that I run like a deer. Uh, so I associated that um, with, with Bambi. Bambi was a deer. At that time, I thought Bambi was a girl because she was like so pretty and had those big eyes and stuff. So um, I thought that Bambi would be a name that fit me. So that's how Bambi came about. Um, but then later on I found out that Bambi was a boy. Um, so it kind of like relates to my story. I was once a boy and now I'm a full woman. Um, I live in womanhood and you know that's really one of the greatest things that you know Bambi looks like a girl but in fact it's a boy. You know, HIV is one of the issues that has affected me personally. Um, as an HIV positive trans woman, HIV is one of the issues that impact the trans community. We have to do a lot of work to make sure that the HIV specific needs of our community are met. We do know that there is some HIV prevention efforts, but that is obviously changing. The world of HIV or the dynamics of HIV have been able to create um, jobs for our community, uh, which is good, but at the same time it's unfortunate because it's the only type of jobs that we can get other than being a hairdresser or a makeup artist or a performer. And But we know that we as a community are very capable of doing anything within our society. One of my dreams is really continue to do the work that I do, obviously, focus uh, more on policy changes, focus uh, more on structural changes. It is important that I contribute to change those structures that continue to oppress us. Um, and I'm going to school to make sure that I do that and that I learn and that I get the credibility to continue to do that. I am also, um, in my future, I see the Trans Latina Coalition be an organization that will provide resources, not only for trans Latino immigrants residing in this country, but also for other organizations around the globe, including Latin America and the Caribbean. Um, so there are many things coming my way, and I am just you know, willing to receive what is coming my way in a positive way.